another greeting party. So let's say hello. Never heard the word overkill. Shock troopers, watch out! Take your heels, man. Don't back down. You all right, Dan? You need my help? Don't be reckless. You got me? Fine, bro. This ain't nothing. You okay? Be right there. Take five. I'll handle this. Let's finish this. No, they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? Well, how in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? So much for two on one. Yeah. 
You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Drop them. Now. They ain't green. Reckon they want to light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now! Hey! I said drop your weapons! Are you deaf? Guess it wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. Seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Get the lead out! Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. I'm telling you, man. Live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man? Base? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there! Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Whoa! We got company! <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. They're in the air too? This is bullshit! I got the aerial units. Gonna blast them out of the sky! Fire! 
Danny boy, a freaking star, man. Freaking awesome plan, if I say so myself. Freaking amazing, brother. But quit hogging all the glory. Oh shit, don't this boy ever get tired? Shut up and jump! Yeah! Oh shit. That scrap head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit!本部長、六本木でもレッドアラートです。警備行動中のグランランサーから機能停止信号。堤防に侵入した連中だな。ええ、そのようです。グランランサーを倒したのか。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。本部長、お台場での画像です。肌の密
And the 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose, climate went to hell, and three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. Thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the US suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try.